I'm Sumeda Yada from Bala Elementary. Today my topic is healthy life with food as a medicine. The background of this project is there's been a really big historic rise of health problems. Lots of studies are saying that these health problems can be avoided and managed. If you have good understanding of food, nutrients, and good eating habits. The purpose of my project is for understanding the importance of food as a medicine. Good understanding of food will help us from a young age to stay strong for a long time. When you have good eating habits, it also helps the environment. Good eating habits comes with good observation and good planning. Good quality food should not just be seen by the looks. You, good quality food is appealing to all senses. And the best quality food I know is fresh, organic, non-GMO, local produce. So there are two types of nutrients, macronutrients, that are protein, carbohydrates, and fats, and micronutrients that are vitamins, minerals, or salts, prebiotics, probiotics, and enzymes. Many people eat a lot of macronutrients, but they forget micronutrients, so I'm just reminding you, also eat micronutrients. Probiotics, prebiotics, and enzymes help absorb food into the blood, so also eat them. Let me tell you about a myth. The myth is fats are bad for health. The truth is fats are not bad for health. They're good for health. They're essential nutrients to store fat-soluble vitamins. We should eat healthy fats that come from cold-pressed oils, nuts, etc. And so if you don't have fats, you may get problems for fat-soluble vitamins. We should have a balanced diet. For example, you eat a lot of milk and cheese and get calcium. Except if you don't have a balanced diet, you may not have enough phosphorus. So the calcium won't absorb into your blood. That's why you should also eat phosphorus that comes from nuts and bananas. So keep a balance between your food. Right now, I like to cook, so Right here, I showed you how to make homemade yogurt, which is probiotic rich. Here's some examples of macronutrients and micronutrients. And here's how I plan my food in a food chart. So the conclusion is we need to understand about food and why it's important. And I hope you liked my presentation and informed you. And thank you.